hello guys welcome to my youtube channel if you want to learn how to make the design watch this video to the end like and subscribe to my channel hello guys you are welcome to another tutorial <laughs> welcome this is radiance creation online trading so in this video what i will be explaining to you is how to make our turban mm, what name should i give this turban you can give it any name let me just continue with what i'm doing you can see here that we have already made cap i made it using this material i don't know the name of this material but you can use satin for this design that i want to make you can use satin you can use any soft material uh the reason you can use a thick material maybe poly or scuba to make the cap but the design that will be on top it should be good if you use something like this very soft just like satin silk another material that can be that you can put this queen line inside and make it beautiful so um i've already made this and i will send a video on how to make this but it will not be the same material i, will, I have a video on how to make the cup i will send it later on so let me do this other materials that we'll be using in this video we also be needed this queen line this is three yards if you i mean three inches the weight is two inches that is what i'll be using in, the, in this video you can use that of two inches but it would be better to use this one so i have three yards here it is possible i can't i maybe i will not finish it i don't know yet so i also need this my brooch just to embellish the needle and thread with scissors and tape all right guys let us get started all right, for the design that will be by the side, I have the material cut out here and I have them in different myomates. So, this material will be placing, we saw it and place this screen of light inside it. So, let me tell you the myomates I have here. I'll be having five, I have five pieces here, and the length for the first one is 19. This is the first one, is 19. This is 17. This is 15, 12, and uh, the last one, I think I used 11 inches. Sorry. So the difference is that they will have two, two inches difference because they will be on each other. Like they will be, this one will be on top of this, and this, and this, 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 and this, and this, and this. So, but the weight I'm using, the weight, I have the same weight for all the five pieces. And the weight here is seven inches, like seven inches. The reason why I'm using seven inches is because of the queen line that will put inside it. Because I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. I will fold it the right side facing the right side, and I will sew on the wrong side. So I will sew like more half inch. So because this is a three inches queen line, it's going to go inside it. So the after sewing, I must have six inches left. You fold that will be six inches. Because this screen line must go inside it without any excess by the side. That's why I added one inch to that six inches, making seven inches. So by the time I sew it, I will have six inches left. So I have seven uh, five pieces there, and I've told you the length of the material, but the width, which is seven inches, is the same. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine now and sew it straight. I must not sew more than half inch at this side. I will sew everything like that. I will not sew these two opening. I will sew everything the same way I have explained to you and come here to continue with our tutorial. So I have sewed it the way I explained. Now I'm going to turn it out. I said it earlier that we have five pieces. This smallest one is the one that we're going to use to wrap it but we'll be putting the queen line inside the four pieces you can make your own to be five and you can make your own to be six it depends on what you want so let me just turn this out now i've turned them out you see so you can iron them by the time you want to iron them just place where you saw at the middle it must not be at the side or at the middle just iron them like that but i'm not going to do that in this video just want to explain to you i'm not going to iron it so i'll take my crinoline line in and put it inside them you know we have 19 inches we have 17 we have 15 and 13 
but I will not cut exactly that in like the 19 inches or the 15 inches. I will add one inch to it because by the time I put it inside, it might be smaller than what I cut and I don't want chores. So, so I will just put it inside it. If you want to put it inside, they fold it this way. But if you are using a satin material, you know a satin material has a has a thread that can be moved at any time. By the time you are putting this crayon line inside it, the thread inside will be avoiding the crayon line to go inside it smoothly. So I'd advise you burn the mouth or you use your gum to you apply gum on this. So by the time you put it inside, it will go smoothly. But this is not a certain material, so my material will still my crayon line will still go inside the material easily. So I'll put the one that I cut at the 20 inches, it's supposed to be 19, but I added um, one inch to it, so I don't want any shortage after putting it inside the material. So I'll put it inside it and arrange it very well. So the sewing part must be of the center, must not be by the side. So the same thing I will do to hold the remaining pieces here. I told you I'm going to, I wanted to use five pieces initially, but I discovered that my material will not be enough. That is why I'm using four inch, four pieces now. So this is what I was saying, that I don't want any excess. Can you see? It doesn't make the work so, that it doesn't come out the way I want it to come out. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine again and sew about a quarter by the side so that I want it firm. By the time I put my equipment inside it, I want it to be firm. So can you see the difference now? This one is okay. There's no excess. But can you see this one? Can you see the excess? I don't know. Maybe you can see what I'm seeing. So I don't want something like that. I want it to be firm inside it. This, can you see? So I will make sure I adjust it to the normal size. The quinoa line are inside the material, so I will take my needle and thread, take the longest one, the 19 inches, I will fold it like this. Can you see the way how I'm folding it? Like overlap half inch on each other. Put it together this way. Can you see what I did now? So and use my needle and thread to sew it, just like two to three times. So the next one is the 17 inches. Just place it on it again the way I did this one. So fold it this way. Fold it like this. It must be at the center of the material. Must be at the center and put it on it this way. Can you see? You must place it very well. It must be equal. You see? So I will just tack it again just to hold it in place. And be careful so that your needle will not cut. You can use your candle gum to, to hold it together as well. So the next one, I'll put it the same way. I'll just put it the same way. And sew it together as well. So this one also, I'll put it the same way and sew it together. So everything will just be like this. Let me just go ahead to arrange them very well and show you the next thing. So arrange them properly and you can also double your thread and use it to tie the middle so that it will be firm together. Okay, you see, use it to tie it. Make sure you tie it very well. So this is how it's going to be. You can make your wound to be bigger than this, like, I mean, longer than this, and maybe more than four that I'm using here. So the, we're not going to leave it like this. The feet pieces of the material that we cut, this one, you know, I've already, I reduced it later. I did not use that seven inches, the waist. I cut it, I use six inches because I don't want it so big. You just take it like this. 
the sewing part will face there just like this i use it to wrap it this way okay so what i did use it to wrap it and take it to your sewing machine just sew it you can also use your hand needle to sew it so i'm not going to use it like this because i think if i do like this this thing will be too wide for me and i don't want to cut it i will just fold it into two like this fold it into two and use it to wrap it if you are cutting out your own just use four inches instead of the six inches i use here use four inches fold it right side facing the right side and sew the wrong side turn it out you have something like this so i'll just take it this way to wrap it and take it to my sewing machine just to pack it together and we have something like this so i'm just cutting out the excess that i have here after sewing it i use my hand to sew it together so this is how it's going to look you can just put your trimmings here or your brooch on it just to embellish it and you can also decide to put a flower or a rose on it so it's going to be like this so just go ahead to attach it to your turban you already made you place it by by the side just like this can you see so just place it by the side i would advise not to use your Candle gum to to attach it to the turban. Just make sure you use your needle and thread and pack it neatly to the turban and place it very well on the body of the turban or the turban. So that is all for this tutorial. I know this will be very helpful to some people. That is watching this tutorial make sure you visit our youtube to watch more of our free video also we have facebook page this facebook group that you, that we always post free pictorial illustration that can help your business to grow so that is all for this tutorial thanks for watching have a nice day